Well, it's been nearly a month and a mother is still without answers on who shot and killed her son, 21-year-old Jake Daniels Self. It all happened at Confluence Park, where a memorial now sits. The night team's Jaffney Gray with the pain she's lived with since his death that September evening. He was the one you could count on. Mm. Lord knows I need him now. Since September 11th, Lavinia Sabatino says she's rarely gone back home. It's hard being there. Go everywhere I look. I just, I see him. San Antonio police say that day, her son, 21-year-old Jake Self, was shot in this park and later found in the middle of the street on West Mitchell. Sabatino says she dropped the phone when she got the call. I didn't want to hear it. He, it was a bad joke. I mean, it's still a, it's still a bad nightmare. When I saw him, had beat him up. Um, eyewitnesses said that he was pushed out of the car. Uh, they said they heard five shots. She later learned two of those shots hit Self in the back. Even with two bullets in his back, his mom says the Self continued to run for his life until he made it to the roadway, where witnesses say he waved his hands for help before collapsing. They said he looked terrified when he was waving for help. She says it hurts to carry on without her best friend and only child. Knowing that I'm never going to hold him. Never going to. There's a lot of nevers. No grandchildren. But she holds his memories close to her heart, like his dreams of going into the Air Force, his quick wittedness and joyful humor. Jaffany Gray, KSAT 12 News. San Antonio police only have a few details on the suspect, describing him as a man in his 20s or 30s. He was last seen driving away from the scene in a silver car. If you have any information that could help investigators, you are urged to call police.